What's up everyone, we're back on the trail. It was 116 in Phoenix today, so no better chance to get out than come up here to Five Staff Snow Bowl in specific. And I'm finally gonna cross off one of my bucket list heights. That's all the way to Humphreys Peak, which is the highest point in Arizona, just over 12,000 feet. I've always wanted to do it, never really had a time and a place, so decided to come out here and just get it over with. So it's a really long hike, 10 and a half miles round trip. Um, 4,000 feet elevation gain. It's by far the hardest hike I've ever done. But we're getting on the trail. It's a beautiful day. It's like 85 out. So perfect time for a hike. Let's just get going and see what we get. past our first mile it's been slow but steady 21 minutes or so so still going though let's keep going up Break number two, we just hit an hour into the hike. We are at two miles almost exactly. Um, I finally got a nice little viewpoint of the other side of the mountain and then all the, the distant mountains out there. Um, you can actually see the chairlifts from here, um, both Grand Canyon chairlift and Humphreys chairlift, which is right here. Um, got a cool little view of that, but um, stopped eating another granola bar. Still got a long ways to go. I don't know how high the peak is. I still can't see it over my shoulder, but at least I finally have a view that way. So that's kind of cool, but nice little break again. Let's get back on the trail and Keep going. Just past two and a half miles on the trail, finally hit a new kind of scene. And we made it across this huge boulder field now, full of all these lava rocks. Um, for those that didn't know, Mount Humphreys was a stratovolcano from a couple thousand million years ago, whatever. Um, and when it erupted, it threw all this pyroclastic material up into the air, and then this is what's left of it. So it's all igneous rock that just created this boulder field all the way down the side of the mountain as it cooled. So we were just in the trees for the past hour and a half. We finally made it to this clearing. I finally got a really good view of the whole area, and I should have a good view of the mountain ahead of us. three miles we are almost to a two hour point um, three miles means that we're more than halfway up the mountain um, it is definitely cooler and there's definitely more clouds so I'm in the shade so honestly I actually feel better in the last 30 minutes than I did for that first hour um, it's a lot cooler I'm not feeling stressed or strained or anything like that so another stop for a granola bar enjoying the view a little breezy good clouds keep going <laughs> Everything that I just said about it being easy in the last 30 minutes, that's out the window. It's been nothing but rocky, uphill, and finally got steeper. It was in direct sunlight just a second ago. My legs are on fire. I had to stop and take a break. We're only at 3.4 miles. I've been trying to take a break every, every mile on the mile, so it was only 0.4 miles ago that I just made my last break, but man, it got just steep really quick. It's been rocky the whole way. This is what I'm dealing with. Um, still beautiful, still cool weather, but I had to stop and take a break. My legs were on fire. My heart rate was over 200, so I had to stop, take a break, play it smart, and we'll get back in no time. Just past 
four miles. If my calculations are correct, we should have one more mile left. I still have no clue where the summit is though. Have not been able to see it this whole time. Been in the forest, it's been pretty, breezy. Clouds have been on and off, but I don't know how much higher we have left to go. After that good burst of energy, I actually did kind of hurry myself up though and have a good little pace to get up here, but just stop for another little water break and then we're gonna get back on the road. Hopefully, I'm probably gonna stop one more time as we get to the top of the boulder field and then it's across the mountain from there for the final stretch, but it is 3.51 in the afternoon. So it's nice evening light, but not too dark, not too midday. So keep going and we'll get there. Finally have somewhat of a glimpse of where we're going. I can see the top of Agassiz above the tree line over there. I can see the lifts that are running. We're about eye level with the Grand Canyon lift which is directly in the center of the frame right now. It's really tough to see but I finally I still don't know where Humphreys Peak is but knowing that Agassiz Peak is right there and we're almost eye level with the tree line that's a good sign. Let's keep going. We're almost there I think hopefully. <laughs> Straight up from here. Now it's in sunlight. Oh my. Oh. Just about hit three hours. Can't even stand still. Oh my god. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Almost fell backwards. Ah. Oh my god. Whoa. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Ah. There's no footing. That was insane. There was no rocks. It was just dirt. Basically just a scramble sliding halfway down. Uh, I finally made it to some rocks to sit on so getting one last little break here. We are about eye level with um, Agassiz lift at Snowball which is their highest lift so um, above that lift is just the tree line. So I think that's where we're about to hit. We should be hitting the, the boulders pretty soon over above the trees. It's been tough now though. It's, it's straight up. We are at three hours almost on the dot. It is 4.15 I believe time and we are at 4.7 miles. Again I think it's five miles so I want to say 0.3 left. So we will see. We have a tough steep journey ahead of us and the wind is picking up which I'm sure you can hear. But let's keep going up. I have no clue where to go. I honestly have no clue where the trail is. Everything just looks like avalanche. No footprints or anything. Everything's boulders. So yeah, there's no dust or footprints. I have no clue where I'm at. There's no footing. I know the peak is that way. Still can't see it. I can see I just see peak though. And I think we're finally above the lift. I don't know what I should do. I know it's that way. I could just start hiking straight up to the top, but I know that there's a trail somewhere over here. I haven't seen a person in a while. I'm all by myself. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I know I gotta go up, so might as well just keep going up and I'll eventually we'll run into a person, hopefully. I think that's the peach. Right there. I don't see anything higher than it. Still have no clue where the trail is. I know we gotta go to what's called the saddle up here. And then you hike over to it, but there's no markings at all. I thought I was on the trail. Everything looks worn out. No markings. I'm gonna keep heading up though. Just scrambling through the brush at this point. It's pretty rough. No signs of people. Not gonna say I'm lost, but I don't know where I'm going. I think if I head the direction that I'm going right now, towards the peak, I think there's another boulder field, and that's gonna be my only sense of direction that I have. I'm gonna go until I hit the boulder field, and then from there I know where the trail is. 
Let's see. Look what I found. I found the trail. I found the trail. We're not lost today, boys. Uh, I don't know where I was. I think I was higher than the trail, like higher on the mountain. So I don't know. I reached that boulder field that I was just talking about. So now, should just be one more switchback, and then the saddle, and then from the saddle across to the peak. Oh my god. Oh, we're almost there. So close. Oh my god, it's tough though. I get dizzy with every step. Ah. We're close though. But my watch lied to me. I think we're at like 5.4 miles right now. We still ain't there. It sounded like this, but when it's in the shade, it gets pretty chilly. Um, it's still really windy, but if I'm the last one up, that'd be really cool to have the whole place to myself. I'm just trying to huddle underneath the wind here. But let's keep going. He said that there's like two more summits, so I see one right here. There's supposed to be another one after that. So let's keep going. It's getting rough though. I am struggling. He's not kidding. I just made it to the top of this, what I called summit. And that's the actual summit. Man, it's still higher to go. I think this is the last sign. Ah, come on. One more push. Come on. I don't know if this is the top or not. I feel like there might be one more damn peak. Holy crap, there is. Oh my god. This is like the fourth peak. But I thought I was done. And I come over another hill. And there's just another damn peak. Oh my god. Oh, my legs are on fire. Ah. Oh. I see the poles. What the heck kind of trail is that? Holy crap. I mean, I finally see the top. I can guarantee that's the top. But I am not done.
Oh my god! Ah! Ah! Oh, it feels calm right here. Oh my god! Oh, it's not windy. Thank you, whoever built this. <laughs> they made it. I've been wanting to do this for so long, and I've found nothing but excuses. That's all it takes. It's one day. Ah. Oh. Ah. I can't stay here long. I know. It took way longer than we thought. It's what time is it? It's way later than I thought. It's 5.48 right now. Uh, we only have an hour and a half of sunlight left. It was, what do we got here? Four minutes, or four hours, 27 minutes, 6.36 miles. And after all that, I'm the highest person in Arizona. The only person in Arizona. Oh, and this moon break is so nice right here. It was so cold, my hands are freezing. My legs actually aren't bad, but oh, my face is numb. This is so nice just sitting right here. It's still really windy. Mm. I saved one more granola bar, and I think like half a bottle of water left, and that's it. It's still not, not over. Still got a long ways to go, but it's always faster on the way down. At least it'll be faster, but it is more dangerous. One wrong step and you're done. But my God, and there's the sunlight. Oh my gosh, I feel it, the warmth. Oh, you can see everything from here. Grand Canyon's right there. I don't even want to look out over there. Oh my gosh. Oh, I wanted to try to fly the drone. I don't know how it's gonna handle these winds, but it's worth the shot. Oh, it feels so nice behind this windbreak. I thought it was gonna be just a flat, windy surface up here. Oh, I could stay here forever. I can't though. Gotta eat this granola bar, save this water as much as I can, try to get what pictures and videos I can, and we got a long road ahead of us. My goal is to at least make it back to the tree line by sunset, so. Cause it was really, the trail, you saw how hard the trail was to follow once we made it above the tree line. We gotta make it to the established trail before the light goes away. Once I'm on a trail, we can follow that back even if it's dark. But you can't be scrambling around the rocks when it's dark. It's only gonna get colder, the wind isn't supposed to go away, so. We're far from done, but man it feels good. The only person up here right now. There is not a single person within about a half a mile of me. It's kinda scary. Okay, let's go. This is about what we're working with. This is that setup. Got my backpack. It's all the water I got left. All these are gone. All the snacks are gone. I got one more Nature Valley bar. I'm gonna eat that. We gotta get going. But man, this is so nice. My hands are numb. I don't have water, don't have food. My cell phone battery is at 27%, and the sun's about to go down in an hour. Uh, anything else? Oh, I'm the last one out here, too. I forgot about that. I don't think there's anybody else on the trail, so. I'm not saying I'm scared yet, but. Yeah, let's get going. Finally made it to the tree line again. That means the wind has died down, which means that it's a lot warmer. So I think we're finally on the way out. The sun is just coming out actually, which is perfect. Um, it still has 30 minutes, 45 minutes till sunset. I'm hoping I can make it down further. You know, like I said, back to the established trail. It's still pretty primitive, just a bunch of rocks. Still think I'm the only one out here. Haven't seen anybody else going up and haven't passed anybody going down yet. 
So I'm just chilling. Um, going down is a lot easier on like your your breathing and stuff. I'm not as hard working, but it's definitely taking your toll on my knees, my knees and leads and shins and ankles and all that and shoes even. Um, ah, it's starting to hurt. Hopefully nothing else goes wrong. So far so good. I feel like I'm in good shape that I did it down, but uh, hopefully I don't twist an ankle or break something. But sun's coming out, so it might even get any warmer. Which might be cool if it gets warmer. But yeah, kind of long ways to go back down the trail. But no wind, warmer temperatures, and sun's out. So I think we're on the up and up. Oh, Look at this light coming through. I told you the sun's about to set. And man, look at this orange light. Oh my. Oh, look at this. <laughs> oh man, look at how perfect this is. It is literally orange. Forget golden, it's orange. Wow. Get a couple pictures. Time is ticking now, so like it's too dark to see. I think we still have like three miles left, if I remember right. I think we're only about halfway down the mountain. We'll see, but at least I'm back to the trail now. Okay, it is getting really dark. I can barely see. I think the camera can barely see. It's 8.07 p.m. I still don't really know where I am. Google Maps is telling me that I'm still above Humphrey's chairlift, which is where I took my second break, I believe. Um, like an hour and a half into the hike, something like that. I think what I'm going to do though, as an executive decision, is when I get to that point where I made that break and I pointed out the Humphreys chairs and the um, lift line and everything, what I'm going to do instead of following the, jeez it's so scary out here, instead of following the trail back like I did on the way up, I think I'm going to hop over to that lift line and then just walk down the Humphreys, um, ski run is what i'm hoping to do that way i'm out of the trees maybe it's a little bit brighter so i can still see it a little bit longer um then it lets me kind of stay exposed just in case something happens so not there yet though i keep checking on google maps and i still have a little bit to go but once i get there i'm gonna hop over that line um, i know that's not not legal really but there is no one around right now and that's the fastest way out so desperate times huh but until we get there it's just fighting darkness and fighting my own, oh man, home mentality. I keep stopping every few seconds to make sure I don't hear anything. I know it's pretty safe out here, but you just never know. Mountain lions and black bears are probably the only thing you're gonna find. Black bears are really, really, really slim, but mountain lions are definitely out here. And I know they're sneaky predators, so still taking my time, but trying to get down in a hurry. Okay, I finally made it to this sign. It is flashlight only from here, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and cross over there. I know the lift is right there, and then I know the way down from there, because I don't know how much longer this is gonna be. My phone is now at 14%, so I'm gonna hope that I can make it to the, the run there. Maybe it has a little bit of um, better lighting maybe left over, and then hopefully it's a little bit less bumpy on the way down, so let's go. What was this? Yeah, the lifts. Can't see them, but there's lifts right here. I'm underneath the lifts. And I need to go find a road. I know there's roads here somewhere. Oh man, this is creepy. Let me check Google Maps one more time. This better be a deer. There's a living animal right in front of me. I heard it break the branch. Now we're both just staring at each other. Pretty sure it's a deer. I'm pretty sure he's walking away. Flashing with my light. I'm gonna pray that that's a deer. I'm gonna keep moving. Oh my God. Oh my God. I think this is a road. Oh my God. I don't know if it's in the go where I want it to go, but this is the 
ski runs. Let's see there. This is where the jumps normally are. Wow. Praying that this takes me to the Hart Prairie lift. And from Hart Prairie, I should be able to find another road straight down. Alrighty. That's the road complete. You can probably barely see it, but that's Hart Prairie lift. So I made it to the next lift. According to Google Maps, this should be a road that's dirt all the way down. And that's where I park. It's a little steep. Whoa. Oh my god, I swear. Oh, we survived. Holy crap, that was, that was fun, but all dark shenanigans didn't go over the best. Jeez, let's call that a night, folks. My god, we made it back finally. It is 8.58 p.m. When did we start? 1.30, I want to say. Uh, let me see how much we, we ended up walking here. Let me go to the stats real quick here. Um, so according to my little health app on my phone, um, we're at 24,000 steps. That's a lot. And exactly 13 miles. Man, it's been long. And what did I say the, the climb up there was? Um, 6.39 miles in 4 hours and 38 minutes. Wow. Um, and that was taken at 6.02 p.m. So it took, what is that, 3 hours to get back down? So... A little bit faster saved an hour, but my god, a long hike. My feet are done, my thighs, my legs, my shin, even my stomach's like all messed up. I don't know if it's because I'm hungry or what the heck's happening, but we're back. It's nine o'clock. We still got a two hour drive in front of us, so let's get on the road safely. I'm gonna go grab something for dinner real quick. And that was a long day, it was fun, but crossed off another item from my bucket list. So until next time, see you. Thank you.